Hello everyone, Scott here with the KSP Shorty. This time I'm looking at the Interstellar Mod Solar Sails. Now some of you guys might have noticed this part come in with the last update a few weeks back. Uh, I just wanted to try to test it out and see what it did because I was kind of curious as to how I could use them. So this is the probe that I'm going to be using. Basically all it is is a probe body, the sail itself, some batteries, a little bit of energy, and I did put a traditional fuel tank on it with those uh, side mount thrusters just to make sure I have a little bit of a conventional in case I need it. But anyway, you can see the solar sail is under propulsion in the interstellar mod. So I'm kind of curious as to just how it works. Now, from the wiki or from the um, the forum um, post, you can it says it can accelerate even well under time acceleration. So I'm kind of curious to see what kind of numbers I can pull out of this, see how I can use it for some of my other applications. So through the power of save file editing, we came. I just gave myself a quick 100 kilometer orbit around Kerbin, uh, deploying these uh, solar panels so that we have t a chance to get some power. And then let's just pull this puppy out and see what it does. Now, as you can see, it, it's huge. Um, it gathers a lot of power. Supposedly, it uses the pressure from the stars to generate force. Now, it isn't anything too significant, but you can see through the flight engineer that my time to apoapsy and periapsies are both going up a little bit and it's continuing throughout my time acceleration. I was kind of curious about this. Now it's it's not a huge amount of thrust but it is you know thrust so to speak and as you can see here I was just rotating around and seeing where the force is and when you when the bit large section is facing the planet Kerbal you can see the force actually goes down and stuff like that so you basically want nice free open space in the back. So, my next test I wanted to do was to get a uh, breakaway trajectory from Kerbin so I could get out of its sphere of influence. So using the traditional engines, all I did was just accelerate until we actually got outside of the uh, Kerbal sphere of influence. Here. Now an interesting thing happened as I was leaving the influence here. Um, as you can see here, it looks like I've got an escape trajectory and that's perfect. So. I basically just shut down the engines and I leave the solar sail open and then I decide well it's still accelerating even well through time acceleration so it's getting further out so I decide to close the solar sail give that a shot and see what happens now when I go back to the map here as you can see it looks like I've still got my escape trajectory and I quickly just put an alarm out to make sure and all of a sudden this happens it seems like it's got a return trajectory now I'm not sure if that was a glitch with the fact that it had the solar sail out, sail out and it was including that acceleration when it was doing the initial calculation so uh, or just kind of a weird issue anyway so I decided to open the sail up one more time just to see if that helps and send her out again um, as you can see here as we're getting a little bit further away from Kerbin it's just kind of interesting to see what happens you can see again on the flight engineer that we are accelerating again not terribly fast but we are accelerating and it is causing some minor adjustments to our course as we go here right now this is at normal speed but I think I speed it up again here right away and again we have our escape trajectory so that works out just fine um, just wait here and then as soon as I get him back to regular speed it says I've got a return trajectory but I think that's a little bug so anyway just kind of accelerate again and finally I'm outside of Kerbin's influence and again now because we're dealing with a huge orbit that'll take you know years if not days to uh, finish you know I have to go here just so you can see the things but it is a fairly substantial amount of acceleration like if you wanted to spend some time with this and just wanted to time accelerate your probes anywhere they go it'd be a good option and one other thing happened when I was doing this, which is also interesting that I should mention, is at this point I'm wondering why my lights went off, and then I noticed I haven't got any electrical power, and I'm like, oh. So I went and I checked the solar panel, and the sun fell behind the, uh, the sail. And I'm like, oh. So it's good to note that these sails also block solar panels. As you can see here, I've got no sun exposure, which means no energy, which means no maneuverability. Which, you know, if I was caring about where this probe was going, would be a huge problem. But in any case, it's fine for now. It's just, uh, it's a good test. In any case, thanks again everyone for watching. Thanks again for all your support. And I look forward to getting back to the Interstellar program as soon as I can here. Have a great day. Bye.